if someone you can sense it in your gut and you can see from their actions they're not your friend they don't support you what do you keep them for i never understood that i kept people in my life for a while gave them chance after chance after chance and then i realized what do i need them for they caused me distress I would literally get a text from a person that I thought he was my friend, like really good friend. And I would get the text after, after many years of basically being mentally abused, to be completely honest. Now in, I can look back how I was and what he was saying to me and what he was not doing for me. It was mental abuse. I remember I would get a text from him and I would feel... I really don't need this. I don't need this. If you have a person in your life, even if it's family, please cut them off. I don't, and as an example, I'm going to use that person because I cut a lot of people from my life. Again, uh, in many people might say, now you're really alone. So I'm not alone. I'm really happy. I have peace. I literally feel my 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 <laughs> my skin smooth because I cut <laughs> I cut people from my life. I distance myself from certain family members and some friendships. My God! Oh my God! If you could again be a friend to yourself, I this is what happened. I became friend a friend to myself and I, I thought would I say that to him no would I do that to him no we were best friends and all I could feel was after hanging out or like talking or texting to each other that I, I, w I would always feel oh I was nowhere in this conversation I was not asked a single question it was just me giving advice and absolutely I would give advice to my best friend. But after a while, I, I was thinking, hang on a minute, I'm always there for him. He's never there for me. When I t and I had, I was quite down during the pandemic, especially when I was, when that was a really big thing for me. I, I was not well mentally during the pandemic and I told him that. He started, he, he did, he just brushed it off. He started talking about his issues, which issues for me at that moment were so trivial, talking about some other people that I didn't even know. And I would still give him advice. I, I was in my, in my head, I was fulfilling a duty of the duty of a best friend, which was me but I would never get anything back. And that's just one example. I had plenty of friends like that, plenty. They're not my friends anymore. I just cut people like that. And I don't understand, I see people, I have other good friends and, and people from work and they're lovely people, lovely people. And they keep talking about their partners, their spouses, their girlfriends, boyfriends that treat them like shit basically and i'm thinking why are you staying with this person life is short why are you staying with this person i promise you i promise you because i i went through i'm not just talking out of my arse basically i went through the exact same someone was treating me like shit and i left and it hurt me for so long but am I a better person? Am I calmer? Am I more peaceful? Yeah, absolutely. I became a better person for leaving them. And I was thinking, when I, I, I give them advice, some of them are quite young, they're in their 20s. I'm 44 years old, so I've lived this. <laughs> I've done it. I've done the 20s. I've done the 30s. And I see them being miserable and complaining about their partner so oh he did this to me and and I was crying all night why are you staying 
I don't get it. You, especially if you don't have kids or if you don't have other dependents or like there is no, there's not a mess, you didn't buy a house together. Why do you stay with that person? What is he giving you? What is she giving you? I promise you, you might be sad for maximum six months. You might be, you might get back together for a little while. But I promise you, after six months of cold turkey, you go cold turkey, is that what, is that the term? Anyway, you won't even think about this person. You will look at all photos and you'll be like, holy shit, was I with that person? Why did I, did I spend a shitty summer being with that person? For what? For, and for what, honestly, for what? That's my main, my main question, which I don't, I can't wrap my head around it. For what? For what? For what? Honestly, for what? What do you need them for in your life? What, honestly, what do you need them for? For company? They make you miserable. You cry all the time. You're having a bad summer. You're wasting your life away. Don't waste your life away. Life is short. Be happy, learn something. Love yourself. Honestly, you will be so happy once you're, you start loving yourself and building up yourself and listen, find the best potential for yourself. What's the best version of me? What can I become? What's my body? How can I fix my body? My skin? How can I fix my skin? Anything else? Money. Let's just do. Let's just, you know. I don't like my job, let's just find another one. Let's just make money somehow. Don't waste your time with people that bring you down. Always they bring you down and they make you feel like shit. Don't waste your time. I promise you, don't waste your time. And again, I'm just thinking, for what? Why, why are people staying with people they don't like? For what? Because you're scared that you're gonna die alone. We all die alone. It, and, it's, and it is a bit, you know, arrogant to think I'm staying with this person because they will be with me till the day I die or I will be with them. How, how are you so arrogant? How do you think that this will happen? There is so many possibilities that this will not happen. You might as well just teach them. <laughs> Be free, be free. Just imagine the positives. I know you you think, oh, I'm gonna be alone. I don't know what to do with myself. Trust me, I've been there many times. I honestly did not know what to do. And now I am in love with my own potential. I am the best version and I wish I hadn't wasted so much, so, so much time with people that were bringing me down and I thought they were my friends, I thought they were my partners, I thought they were, they cared for me. They didn't. And I'm free. And you should be free too. You should love yourself. And have a lovely day.